Governor Simonalai Fubara has poured out his frustration following his inability to participate in the ongoing membership revalidation of the People's Democratic Party, as he formally declared himself and his supporters party-less. In another related story, one of the 23 local government council caretaker committee chairmen recently appointed by Governor Siminalaye Fubara has appointed a staggering 600 individuals as special assistants, senior special assistants, and executive assistants. The caretaker chairperson of Ikwe local government area, Dr. Darlington O.G., made the appointment on Wednesday, 26th of June, 2024. Honorable sir. Yeah. Yeah, we'll take this one after the other. Okay. With your permission, if you, if you please. Mm -hmm. It's all right. All right, sir. Let's head straight to this. Uh, Governor Simonalai Simona Fubara has uh, been frustrated over his inability to participate in the ongoing membership revalidation of the People's Democratic Party, formally declared himself and his supporters partyless, meaning that he is uh, he, he is seen himself not as a bona fide member of the PDP. Is that what it implies, sir? Uh, uh, once again, Ray, uh, uh, it's not always nice that uh, maybe when conversations or statements are made by the executive governor of the state and people try to misinterpret or misrepresent them. Yes, sir. You know, when the governor was trying to tell us or inform us in his words that party has failed us, precisely the PDP, most of us are, are bona fide members of the PDP have been issued before we all left, you know, contesting election with different platforms and the rest of them. And you'll agree with me, from 1999, which is the Fourth Republic precisely, PDP has been one of the major national political parties in Nigeria yeah. that has been able to produce a lot of presidents and governors within the 30 states of Nigeria. But narrowing it down to the 2023 election, we saw a lot of internal... Uh, on political activities, you know, you know, seed of discord in the highest level, whereby, you know, sabotage became the order of the day. And currently, with the state of the PDP, you know, it's now a trajectory that PDP has lost its balance. So but when the governor was trying to say that the party has failed, it's because most of these political parties have not been issued when they were all introduced or established. Their foundation or their... Um, original constitution didn't give a good room for most people who wrote on the party's platform, you know, to initiate or engage in the things that the party is believed to be part of. Take, for instance, during the Nadoko days and the ANC days, you see, these political parties then we are made out of certain ideologies. If you're not believing in a certain way, you shouldn't be part of a political party. But today, the difference, uh, the uh, opposite is the, is the situation whereby people no longer join political parties based on the ideologies. Rather, people only join political parties just because they want to get to the office. And now, that has also skyrocketed the level of poor performance among those who have been elected within public offices. And take, for instance, if you look at what the governor himself has also said, that the political parties will have to, they have failed. And that is the honest truth. Take, for instance, the governor himself is doing a whole lot. But what is happening within the party? The G60 House of Rep members, part of the PDP, and some other are trying to form alliance. The same also going whereby you see members of the same political party working for another political party that they fought against, they stood against on the national election. So this gives you room to make you understand that even the party principles has already, you know, seen the worst of it all. The is the governor trying to float? No, 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 no. What the governor is trying to say in his statement is that the po po political party ideology has failed Nigerians. Because, take for instance, as of 2014, 2015, the APC came with the mantra that Nigerians have been going through suffering, insecurity, and above all, corruption, fighting of corruption, anti-corruption mantra. That was what they rode upon. And Nigerians, they, they sold that to Nigerians, and Nigerians believed. But today, what is happening in Nigeria? We see that the same APC 
that say that they are an anti-corruption uh, political party are the ones even colluding with most of all these people. Look, you, you and I will attest to what is happening in, uh, in Kogi State. A former governor, Ayaya Belu, who was, you know, alleged to have misappropriated the fund of the state just because he's part of the political, uh, the national uh, political party that is the ruling party today. Up till today, we've not had anything. This is the same person that the EFCC, Economic Crime, uh, Financial Crime Commission, published his name in all gazettes, in all newspapers and sir, headlines. Is there any political party that is free, that is bereft of controversies? See, you, you agree with me. You agree with me that the truth is that until political parties get it right, Nigeria can never get better because Nigeria, you know that we're running a multi-party system whereby although that the 2020 Act has amended, the uh, INEC 2020 Act has amended, has given room now for individual uh, uh, independent uh, candidacy. Unlike before, because if they were independent candidacy, people like the P2B and the rest of them that had the obedient movement, they would have stood on their ground without uh, aligning with any political party to stand for the general election. People like us as well wouldn't want to find ourselves, you know, in that same dirty yeah, water. That as it may, right now, uh, the present stance is that for you to gain political power, for you to be able to vote and be voted for, in fact, for you to be able to participate in governance, you have to be a member of an existing registered political party. That is, that is the, 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 the existence as at 2010 the amendments. Yes. Despite the, 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 the shortcomings per se, you still need a political party as a vehicle to get to any elected position. Yes. in Nigeria. Yes, you so agree with me. Despite the criticisms, the governor will still need the functions and functionality of a political party. Right now, I want to even ask, let me deviate a bit, if you will, but back to the topic. Okay. Why was it difficult for him to undergo his membership revalidation as the number one citizen of River State, sir? Oh, okay. Yes, sir. I, 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 think, I think that is the major point exactly, exactly, sir. for highlight. Exactly. Because you will agree with me, some, some months back, when the PDP National Executive Council uh, meeting was held, you know, the members of the Board of Trustees, the members of the Governor's Forum, and as well as the National Working Committee of the party. Yes, sir. You see people who played anti-party, that up till now, the party has not been able to have the capacity or the merit to sanction them, you know, because as a party, you have a constitution and a bylaw that is binding to all members of that political party. And the very moment you go contrary to those bylaws or those actions, definitely you have to be fined or you have to be restrained. But you and I will agree today that what is happening in Nigeria today, even the same people that work against the same PDP today are still major stakeholders and major key players in the National uh, 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 Working Committee. Take, for instance, ever since the announcement of uh, 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 Damagun as a acting yes. national chairman of the party. Damagon has done nothing. The, by right, the responsibility of the National Working Committee on an interim is supposed to see how to galvanize the party, bring all parties that are uh, aggrieved together, you know, look for how to mend fences, and above all, re-strategize for the next coming election because 2027 is around the corner. Exactly. And again, considering what Nigerians are going through, the hardship, the bottleneck, and all the challenges that we are confronted, you know, yes, you see what Nigerians are going through every single day, yet the, the, the APC ruling party continue to ambiguously, you know, demonstrate their, you know, negligence upon the citizen. The citizens are crying every day. This is the moment that every political party, including the PDP, which the governor, you know, rode upon, is supposed to come together. But even the governor himself has found it very difficult because, like I said, the key players, especially those who contested for the presidency, if you recall vividly, as at the year 19, 20, uh, 2019, um, the, the former governor of River State supported the, the former governor of uh, Sokoto State, Aminu Tambua, yeah. you know, against the, the emergence of uh, al Haji Atik Abu Baka and the P2B as a 2019, you know, mandate. Then at the end of the day, they tried to reconcile and mend fences. Then 2023, we saw what happened. The, governor, the former governor of River State, uh, His Excellency Chief Basayi Sonwike, who is today a minister serving under the APC-led federal government, you know, now had to stand up and want to run for the office of the presidency, which we all supported him. And he also made a vow on that particular day that whoever emerges is going to give, 
his total support. But fast forward today, we are in 2024. Yeah. What has happened? He did not just only sabotage. I want this to be like he didn't only want he didn't only sabotage the PDP on the national level. You recall together we that with facts, sir. I, absolutely, yes, because as at the let's time let, that the 2022, yes, 2022, facts, 2023 general election preparation, yes, sir. The then governor of River State never allowed the PDP presidential campaign team, you know, to have a single meeting or even a single summit here in Port Harcourt. Most of all the offices that were you know rented as at that time, heavily led by. Uh, uh, what was his name? Uh, uh, Honorable Abiy Sekibo, who was the, uh, the chairman of the uh, Atiku campaign organization. They were all, you know, chastised. River State became a, 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 a toxic but, but community. He, he, but at the end of the day, just because the serving governor today was somebody who was well loved by River people. You know, the division did not affect the governor succeeding. But you will agree with me that the result of the, of the presidency was different. Why? Because there was a lot of division. There was a lot of sabotage. There was a lot of inconsistency among the PDP in River State. Are you trying to say that uh, the, the minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Barrister Yeson Wike, is the, the, the reason why the ongoing membership revalidation of the PDP does not capture the sitting governor of River State. Assuming and still conceding on your question, the truth remains, as long as he played a major role for the installment of Damagun as the acting national chairman, and you also remember that few months before even the neck meeting, that he has also initiated through the same uh, legal counsel that he has been using to try to revalidate the sacked members of the uh, House of Assembly River State, these are the same legal team that he used in filing an ex parte order that Damagun should not be removed both in acting capacity and also should to assume office as a national that, chairman. That was a legal process. That he is a legal process. He did not muzzle it in and there was a lot of opportunities to be able to counter that. And you, there has not been any counter. Raymond, Raymond, to, to Raymond, Damagun being there. Raymond, we are in Damagun is there. Right I agree now. with you, after, but Raymond, you agree with me. Convention. You agree with me that every political party, first of all, what makes you a political party is internal democracy. And when there is no internal democracy, it becomes an issue. It's no longer. Uh, uh, it's no longer it, what it ought to be. Because when the uh, primary uh, uh, aim and objective of that part polit particular political party is defeated, at the end of the day, is as good as it's uh, an end on arrival. So you will agree with me that because of the effort of the former governor of River State, who played a major role, if you look at the 774 local government in Nigeria today, which I am humbly, you know, the, the pioneer leader of deservation, you know, deservation project 774. This is a, a social political group that does not just only work in, uh, in partisan with ordinary political parties. We excel every candidate. And once we see that you're valid and you meet our prerequisite, we'll give you our support. But now look at what happened. In as much as within the 36 states of Nigeria, there's a lot of areas whereby some of the political parties who have good mantra and who have good candidate, yet they don't emerge. It becomes a problem. Now, the former governor sponsored a lot of people within the PDP in other states just because of his... Uh, imagine as uh, the uh, the PDP presidential candidate, and don't forget, don't forget, he scored over two hundred and something vote during the primaries, and he has influence over all these people, and he has also come out publicly on national TV to say that every single individual he gave support, he bought forms for them. Honourable right, sir, right, yes. right, sir, let's stick to this particular issue, sir. Yes. Let's concentrate our energy and on River State on this particular issue okay. of the revalidation of the membership of the governor i do not believe that barrister yeson wiki the federal capital territory minister is the greatest member is the strongest member in the people's democratic party there are staunchest team of timber and caliber in the people's democratic party both serving and both retired down i mean you you can name them and i don't think that Bryce so Wiki has so much sway in the People's Democratic Party as to deny a sitting governor under his party the, the, the right to, re, to, to register his membership. It's not even contest election. This is not a second term. This revalidation of a membership that is already certain. 
Sir, I think there are other reasons why his membership has not been revalidated. But putting all the blame on by Stanislaw Wiki and national PDP without so much facts would be a disservice, sir. But let me hear your response, sir. Uh, um, Ray, um, yes, sir. once again, um, let me inform you on okay, some of these intricacies of these issues. Ah, please, do, sir. You, you know, you will agree with me, Ray, that most of all these issues that we are experiencing today within the PDP, you know, if you look at the result sheets of the last concluded election in okay. just 2020 election, you understand that most of the areas or most of the states where PDP holds sway, PDP lost over there. Example is Abia State. And one of the reasons why Abia State PDP collapsed was also internal democracy. You also go to um, Cross River State. PDP used to hold Cross River very high. And part of the reason why the former governor, Ben Ayade, left the party was still because of this undemocratic act. And today, the PDP has lost Benue State, uh, has lost uh, Cross River State. The same way it goes to Benue, precisely. Remember, these are part of the G5 governors, you know, who also said that they had one uh, uh, understanding that it must be a southern president, according to their, their mantra. Now, PDP used to hold Benue. As a, as a, from 1999 to date, PDP has never lost Benue. You can agree with me. Almost even the serving uh, secretary of the federal government, okay, George what, what you mean is that there has not been internal democracy? There has not been internal democracy in within the, the PT, within the party the... nationally. And it has given room in for internal impunity. That is why I said the former governor, before the, our governor today, emerged. That is the reason why you see those who are still keen on bringing division within the state are hiding under the umbrella of the ownership of PDP. When they forget that the PDP is People's Democratic Party, it belongs to all Nigerians. It belongs to all reverse people. Okay, but because of the portfolio that they have held, you know that before every election year, we used to have what we call our convention, the national convention, where leaders emerge, and from there it goes down to the state and to the world level. Now, up till now, these things are yet to be held. And until new leadership emerges to work with the serving governors where the PDP has won elections in the states in Nigeria, these internal issues will continue to arise. And like I said, I, I want to debunk your, your statement that uh, Barista Yosomike has the Herculean uh, uh, power no, as part. No, 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 that's what I'm saying. I want, to, I want to debunk that mindset. The truth is that Barista Yosomike doesn't have that, but only that he has played a major role in the PDP. For him to run st side by side, you know, for the presidential election, we all saw what happened. And you will agree with me that he has been a very loud voice within the PDP. Because from the time of uh, Aliyu, uh, the former uh, national party from Benue State, before he got down to Damagon, he even, he was also the one that brought uh, our, our own, our very own, uh, Prince uh, Uche Secondus, you know, to emerge as the PDP national uh, chairman, you know. So now these things tells you we are the, problem of the internal democracy within the party, especially within the state, River State, has been coming from. And that is the reason why you see members of the Federal House of Representatives in the person of Honorable Gochinyere Ikenga, clamoring and shouting every day, both on national TV and on newspapers, that the internal crisis, internal undemocratic practice of the party is killing the party. Because this party was formed by ablent Nigerians who understood what democracy was all about. Because democracy is the only thing that can be able to move us out of the trenches where we found ourselves to a better livelihood, the 21st century where we are today. But do we look like people who are living in the 21st century, apart from the gadgets that we, uh, we enjoy or we use, in terms of livelihood, Nigerians are yet to come to 21st century. And it is only democratic practice that can, you know, bring us into that particular state. And that is the reason why the governor has found it difficult. But for the governor to say that himself and his party, his uh, supporters are not members 
of a political party. That was not what the governor said. The governor was only trying to say that the, the ideology, the positive ideology of these political parties has been defeated. That is why political parties in Nigeria has failed us. Is he now, still a member of the PDP, sir? As long, of course, if, if the governor is not a member of PDP, you recall vividly that there's no time that the governor sits to make his uh, pronunciations, declarations, or inter grant official has, interviews has his, where you don't has, see has, the, has the, flag of, the flag of the PDP has, and has, the flag has, has of the river seat. membership of the party, sir? Like I said, this is a season of revalidation. Exactly, and sir. up till now, the governor is yet to be validated. Why, the sir? reason why the governor is yet to be validated is because of the internal undemocratic parties within the party coming from the national, okay. like I said. Okay, I, I get your point, sir. Thank I get you. your point, sir. I was just trying to make sure that uh, your point is well... Well so, noted. Uh, yes, exactly, sir. So, okay, now going to the part B of this, of this uh, question, of this uh, topic, we, we have the, the query... Uh, local government's uh, caretaker committee chairman uh, in the person of Dr. Darlington Oji, having uh, appointed 600 individuals into various positions uh, uh, in capacities of special assistants, senior special assistants and executive assistants. Such, such a humongous, uh, such a staggering amount of, uh, of people as, uh, uh, as assistants to a caretaker committee chairman. What, what do you think is, is the driving force for this uh, action, sir? Because it seems it is going to drain the accounts of the council. Well, the truth is that um, hearing about that, uh, the appointment of over a number of uh, appointees by the CTC chairman, you will agree with me that the CTC itself, which was installed and inaugurated by the governor, you know, is to serve on an interim but a time frame was not um, given. And the reason why uh, they were you know, asked was to hold sway. And you will now agree with me with the, with the order of the IGP you know, mounting the Nigerian police within the local government. It has also limited operations of uh, most of these uh, CTC chairmen, which means they need more laborers, you know, to move from one location to the other, dispatch of letters, you know, communiques, and the rest of them. So, in terms of, you know, hiring a, a number of people, it's well okay. But getting to that particular figure, it's where is a little bit alarming. But I will also agree with you that equal local government is a very sensitive local government within River State. And uh, if you recall vividly, among the 23 local governments, of River State, uh, as at, uh, September, as at uh, June 17, when governor made his announcement, you will understand that uh, equally local government was one of the local governments that the state, you know, experienced resistance, you know, courtesy of the internal undemocratic uh, practices of uh, some of these uh, uh, expired. Uh, uh, I wouldn't want to use the word expired, but I'll call them. Uh, 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 people who are no longer in power but yet want to remain, you know, head within the, 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 the main uh, ecosystem of politics in River State. And it's so, so bad because you remember vividly that even after governor's appointment and the, the serving uh, CTC chairman are going about carrying their duties, you know, you know, nullifying, uh, recalling all the existing committees so that a new committee can be set up to engage in harmonizing and bringing all the internal general revenue of River State, you know, in one accord. And you now see individuals, you know, like my brother, the former local government chairman, making certain utterances, you yes, know, sir, that sir, uh, sir. one illegal CTC, you sir, know. Sir, please, in yes. order for us not to deviate. No, we are not deviating. Yes. I'm trying to yes. bring it down to... Yes, because I, uh, when I see 600 here, I see 600, and I know that Governor Similar Life Fubara does not have up to 600 special aids. Absolutely. Are we going to say that all other local governments, the 23 local governments, Ketika Committee, Chairman, should they replicate and have also 600? Uh, I mean, what, what's, what, what gives? What, what is the essence? How does this bring about development? That's what we are trying to find out. Please, sir. Now, now, like I said before, you know, this is not the first time. Let's, let's not play hide and seek. This is not the first time in politics that uh, over 600 persons are appointed. I want by to take a, you... By a caretaker committee, no, this no, is the first no, time, no, no, this is the first time yes, by a caretaker committee, but <laughs> that's, not, that's not the direction I'm going. I said, this is not the first time we are hearing 
a political appointment being made over 600, you know, for reasons, you know, best known to the people who are in power. Remember also that uh, the former governor of uh, 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 Imo State, you know, that's from the APC, Hopos and Emma, had over a many thousand uh, SA, SSAs and the rest of them. But not only down to the to the CTC chairman. Believe me, it is it is it is not really really nice. I must tell you the honest truth because if you say that you're giving appointment to over 600 persons as SAs and SSAs, and uh, up till now we don't know the definition of their job uh, description. Believe me, it's alarming and it doesn't uh, hold good waters for the governor. But I think that the CTC chairman also must have his reason, and until we are able to hear from him, but I will say that as large as Equally Local Government is, Equally Local Government need a lot of people to work hard, you know, to bring the dividends of democracy in terms of holidays, in terms of uh, IGR uh, revenue, and the rest of them to also, you know, assist and accelerate uh, uh, most of the uh, things that has been suspended for a few weeks because of these uh, political bottlenecks. So, that, so that means that um, uh, you are in support or not in support of this move, sir? Well, I'm in support of the CTC chairman appointing his uh, essays and SSAs, but I'm not really, you know, appreciative of the figure of appointing over 600 persons in just one local government. That's a is alarming. I respect that. Thank That's you.